Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump, while speaking with ex-owner Elon Musk on the billionaire's social media site, said Russia wouldn't have invaded Ukraine if U.S. President Joe Biden weren't in office. Trump has been saying that he knows Putin and gets along with North Korea's ruler Kim Jong-un. They're smart and they're vicious. I got along with Russia's President Vladimir Putin very well, and he respected me, Trump said, adding that he used to speak to Putin often. We would talk about Ukraine. It was the apple of his eye. But I told him don't do it, he claimed. Known for his long-standing public sympathy for Putin and his repeated criticism of U.S. aid to Ukraine, Trump claimed during his presidential campaign that he would end the war within 24 hours if elected, though he refused to provide details of his plan. During the debates with U.S. President Joe Biden, Trump rejected Putin's ceasefire terms, which demanded that Ukraine surrender for regions partially occupied by Russia and abandon its effort to join NATO, calling them not acceptable. However, earlier media reports indicated that Trump privately suggested ending Russia's war by pressuring Ukraine to cede Crimea and Donbass to Moscow. He also said publicly in May 2023 that he would not guarantee continued defense assistance to Ukraine if he won the presidential election. Musk told Trump he's made an excellent point. Musk officially endorsed Trump on the same day GOP nominee was shot at a campaign rally in Pennsylvania. Musk had planned to host Donald Trump for an interview live on X. However, the social media platform experienced glitches, preventing many users from listening to the interview. Musk later posted that there was a massive DDoS attack on X and mentioned efforts to shut it down, adding that he might continue the interview with a smaller audience. The interview started about 45 minutes late. He can do plenty of damage. <laughs> So. Yes, I mean it's because you know I mean people like like Kim, Kim you know Kim Jong Un they respond to strength yeah. not weakness. Well, and he, uh, and, and, he and, and I got he and I had a good strength, relationship. They, you know, you're, remember I yeah. remember I met him and and we walked onto his land. Nobody ever walked onto his land before. I walked onto. I wouldn't say <laughs> yeah. let's bring up cool. Secret Service again. I wouldn't say they were thrilled when I did that. I walked onto his land, and uh, it was it was an amazing period out of it for a long time but i know putin very well i got along with him very well he respected me and it's just one of those things and he would we would talk a lot about ukraine it was the apple of his eye but i said don't ever do it don't ever do it you know i shut down Nord Stream too that was the big oil pipeline the biggest i think the biggest pipeline in the world going all over europe i shut it down biden came and then they say yeah. I, I you know i was i loved russia i was a friend of putin and i loved russia no he actually said to me one time, he said, if you're my friend, I'd hate to see you as an enemy. I shut down his pipeline, the biggest pipeline. They were looking at that yeah. to fund. And this this pathetic president gets in there. And the first thing he did, one of the early things he did is he shut down. He, he shut down Keystone XL pipeline, which is our pipeline that would have employed 48,000 people, pipeline workers, shuts it down. That was, uh, you know, a massive job that Obama refused to allow. Yeah. I allowed it in my first week because it was jobs and it moved oil. And by the way, in a much more environmentally friendly way, it's underground. It's not a truck that catches on fire or a train that catches on fire. But think of it. He shut down the uh, XL pipeline, the Keystone XL pipeline. Yeah. He shuts that down and he approves the Russian pipeline. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't make any right? sense. <laughs> it's like, it's inconsistent. Um, certainly, the, but, but I mean, I, I think it's just worth emphasizing, you know, to listeners the that the the, the the immense importance of of whether the United States president is intimidating or not intimidating, um, and how much that matters to global security, um, because uh, there's some real tough characters out there, and if they don't think the American president is tough, they will do what they want to do. I know every one um, of them. And that puts, all, that, that put, that, it puts the yeah. whole world in danger. Elon, I know every one it's of them, and deal. I know them well. I know Putin, yeah. I know President Xi, I know Kim Jong-un of North Korea. I know every one of them. And let me tell you, people will say, oh, this is terrible. Well, he said, I'm not saying anything good or bad. They're at the top of their game. They're tough, they're smart, they're vicious, and they're going to protect their country, whether they love their country. They probably do. It's just a different form of love, but they're going to protect their country. But these yeah. are tough people at the top of their game. And when they see a Kamala 
or when they see uh, 